Hey you guys, we're back on Thriving with PKU today and it's no secret, I love cauliflower. Today I wanna to show you guys a Tex-Mex style cauliflower that I bake and I throw in tacos for a really, really delicious meal. Let's get cooking. Okay, here's what you'll need to get started. So first you need one big head of cauliflower. The spices we're using are a half teaspoon of cumin, a half teaspoon chili powder, a half teaspoon garlic powder, and then I have more in this bowl. The cayenne pepper you can do to taste. I'm doing about a fourth teaspoon of cayenne pepper, an eighth teaspoon of salt. You're gonna need some sort of cooking oil, so I'm using three tablespoons of olive oil. And then, of course, you'll need your tortillas. I just grab corn tortillas, they're one gram for each tortilla. And then you want your toppings, whatever you want to go on top. So I'm gonna use some tomatoes, some cabbage. I'm also gonna use these guacamole mini cups that I'm obsessed with right now. And then I'll throw some salsa on later. Okay, so I already preheat my oven to 400 degrees. I pre-wash my cauliflower. So now I'm just gonna chop it up into little florette sized pieces. All right, so these are all ready. I have a lined baking tray that I'm gonna transfer these onto, so let's do that. Okay, here they go on the tray. Okay. Now I'm gonna take my spices and my oil, and I'm gonna pour my spices in and just mix them up in that oil. Okay, we'll mix them up. Okay, so the last step before we bake is we're just gonna pour these over, pour this mixture over the cauliflower, and then mix up the cauliflower. Okay, and now I get my hands dirty for this part because you wanna make sure all the cauliflower is covered in oil. Okay, once the cauliflower is all coated, we can throw it in the oven. We're gonna bake for about 30 to 35 minutes. Okay, they're finished now, yay. Okay. So I'm on a simplified diet, so the cauliflower, the tomato, and the cabbage are all free for me. So the only thing I really have to count are the tortillas, and then if I use my guacamole. So let me make these up. They smell so good, I'm so excited to eat them. Voila, so yummy. And here you have it, voila. They're all done, just ready to be eaten. So I hope you guys love this recipe as much as I do. I think it's super filling and super yummy. The ingredients and the step-by-step -step directions will be in the description box below. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next week on Thriving with PKU.